a fly-through text effect you can make directly in Final Cut Pro and reuse it later. Take any clip and make it approximately 7 seconds long. Add a highlighter to effect. Size the rectangle to cover the viewer. Set the blend mode to normal. Choose an initial color. Here we'll use an orange. Position the playhead about 20 to 25% of the way into the clip. Set a keyframe on the color. Move the playhead about 5 to 10 frames depending on project frame rate. Change the color to about broadcast safe white. Move the playhead about 1 second along the timeline. Set a keyframe on the fill opacity at 100%. Move the playhead about another second and move the fill opacity slider to 0%. Playing through the clip we see the color go from orange to white with a fade to the clip. Add a highlighter text effect. Change the text. This must be done in the highlighter text inspector. Set the font variant, which defaults to Helvetica New Regular, to condensed black. Set the size to fill the screen. Adjust the baseline to the middle of the font. This will be approximate and can be readjusted later. You can use the highlighter text on screen control as a guide. Use the Z position parameter to adjust the size back down to a normal size. Click and drag downward negative direction on the value. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and set a keyframe on Z position. Move the playhead to the approximate end of the text animation and adjust the Z position positive direction until the text just disappears. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Set a keyframe on the center parameter. Click the right arrow on the Z position keyframe to go back to the previously set keyframe and, holding down the Option key, drag the center X position until the screen is covered with the nearest part of the text. Play through the clip. Set the blend mode of highlighter text to stencil alpha. Notice we still have only one single clip, no cuts, no attached titles, no transitions. Make minor adjustments to the center X and keyframe and the baseline to get the look you want. Select Save Effects Preset. Set the keyframe timing to stretch to fit. Make sure only Highlighter 2 and Highlighter Text options are selected. Give your preset a name and save. When you're finished, all of this work will have been well worth it. You'll only have to do the work once. Try out your new preset on another clip.
Now you have a new effect you can use on any clip. Just change the text in Highlighter Text and the colors in Highlighter 2 to fit your needs. The Highlighter system of effects is available on fcpxtemplates.com. You'll find a link in the description.